Hello friends, it's Harith from Bonsai Labs. Today I will show you how TypeScript infers the best common types during its inference calculation. To start, I will create a type called person which contains one member called age of type number. Next, I will create a new type called teacher which combines the existing person type and adds another member called classes of type string array. This field will tell us which classes a teacher is teaching. I will create one more type called student which also intersects with the existing person type with another member called grade of type number. This will represent the grade a student has received. I will now create a function called get members of school. Within this function, I will first create two students with different ages and grades. I will then create two teachers with different ages and classes they teach. Now comes the interesting part. I will first return both students in an array. Since we have not explicitly defined the return type of the function, TypeScript will infer the return type. In this case, since both students are returned, TypeScript infers the return type as student array. Now, if I change the return values to contain both teachers, TypeScript infers the return type of function as teacher array. However, if I mix in the return value to contain a student and a teacher, the TypeScript inference infers its type as array of the union of student and teacher type. Now, both teacher and student are also valid person objects since they contain member age inside them. However, TypeScript does not infer the return type of person since none of the return instances are of type person strictly. In case this is your requirement to have them as person, you can add the explicit return type of person in the function declaration signature, which becomes the return type of function. And since both instances returned are also person, the code compiles successfully. Great, I hope you now have the understanding on how best common types are inferred in TypeScript. Thank you for your time again, and I will see you again in another video.